Uh, good morning from Butare. I'm getting ready to head out to the Murambe Genocide Memorial. First mosquito bite in exactly three weeks of being in Africa, so uh, let's hope it doesn't turn into anything. From Butare, it was a short 45-minute bus ride west to the Murambi Genocide Memorial Center. Along the way, I was treated to some great views as we hugged the hillsides and made our way around Rwanda's 1,000 hills. It's a bumpy ride. Hey. Beautiful views, though. Beautiful scenery. Eucalyptus in the air. Really beautiful. All right, I've made it to the Murambi Genocide Memorial. We're heading inside. Well, I've arrived here at the Murambi Genocide Memorial, just outside of uh, the town of Butare, about 35 kilometers west. I uh, took a minibus to the town of Niamagabe to get roughly pretty close to this, and then a motorbike ride to get up the hill. It's pretty seamless coming from Butare. It is a bit of a slog from Kigali though, so just be aware of that. I would give it at least two days if you're planning on coming out to Murambi. This is by far the most graphic of all the uh, genocide memorials in Rwanda. It does have the bodies on display and other things, so I'm gonna go pay my respects. I'm leaving the Lighthouse Hotel here in Butare. I'm gonna head back to Kigali here in a few minutes. I finished up in Murambi. I wasn't allowed to take any pictures. That was one of the most messed up places I've ever been to in my life. I'm not much of a potty mouth here, but there's no other way to describe that. They had about 20 rooms full of dead bodies preserved in lime. The smell was atrocious. There's nothing that could describe it. I have a pretty strong stomach and I was having trouble processing what I was seeing there and just the sensory aspect of it, the smell, the humidity, everything else just made for a ridiculously uncomfortable experience. So if you're planning on going to Murambi, I hope you have a strong stomach. Very moving, very chilling. There's no way to get around the brutality and the devastation that the Tutsis experienced during the genocide. Very worthwhile to go, definitely worth the day trip coming out here for it, but absolutely disgusting in terms of just the overall uncomfortability of it all. I still feel nauseous. Three hours to go from here to Kigali and then onward to Ethiopia late tonight. Hopefully I'll have enough time to relax, enjoy some dinner before I move back to the airport. All right. here to the convention center which is brilliantly lit up now with multiple colors. Pretty impressive building, I guess it's nearly built so that's cool. I'm gonna go look around for some dinner here and then I'm gonna get to the airport fairly early tonight just so to make sure that I'm there. My flight doesn't leave until almost two o'clock in the morning so I've got a long night ahead of me. That is pretty much it for my road trip. Again I've traveled all the way from Lusaka, Zambia through what is this my sixth country, fifth fifth country. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Five countries to get here. Traveling by land the entire time. 
That ends now. Because northern Kenya is very dangerous in terms of banditry and everything else on their highways up there, I'm going to be taking flights from here on out. So I'm going to do a tour of Ethiopia next and then onward to Djibouti from there. Rwanda is an amazing country. Make sure you come here at some point in your lives. There's lots to see, lots to do, and a lot of history here. here at the Camellia Coffee House. Very good coffee if you ever find yourself in Kigali, definitely check it out. All right, I'm having a uh, wrap with some fries. They always serve the fries with maize here. It's really interesting. Um, and last meal in Rwanda. Well, I'm getting ready to leave uh, Kigali. I'm gonna get on a motorbike taxi here very shortly. Might stop into the supermarket just to get a few souvenirs. There's a really good kind of a chili oil, piri piri stuff that I wanna pick up before I head out. Just some thoughts about Rwanda as I wrap up my time here. It's a very safe country. So if you have any apprehension about coming here, yeah, that would be ill-founded. This country is absolutely safe and they're not out at all to rip you off. There were several times on this trip where I had quoted an amount uh, for like a motorbike ride and the person came back and actually offered me a lower price. So they're very honest people here. They're not looking to take you for a ride at all. And it's generally a very pleasant, uh, warm welcome wherever you go. So I really highly recommend this country. You don't need to be worried about your belongings. Nobody's gonna steal from you. This is by far one of the safest places I've been in Africa, if not the world. It is absolutely safe. So keep that in mind. I'm off to the airport. All right, I'm here at the lounge at Kigali Airport. I'm having some free beer and uh, snacks. Got about two hours to kill before the flight to Ethiopia. It's gonna be a long evening. Well, the shower facilities aren't the most spacious, but they'll do. Let's do this. From Kigali International Airport, we would fly due northeast across Uganda, Kenya, and Ethiopia before making our way to Bole International Airport in the suburbs of Addis Ababa. It's three hours in the air, so I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.